Welcome to day, my hands are dry, day, it is day, it's Sunday of Vlogmas. <laughs> I don't know what day of Vlogmas it is, I think day 8, it should be day 8 of Vlogmas. Yeah, uh, my friend just got here, she's ready to get her, I hope I'm in frame. Yeah, my friend just got here, she's ready to get her hair done, so we're gonna get started on her and yeah. Let's go do her hair. <laughs> I'm going for Vlogmas. And this is the other friend that you guys haven't seen yet. This is Ari. Hi. I haven't been on your channel before. On my YouTube channel? Yeah. But I don't think they met you. It was like from the back of your head. Well, <laughs> you need a hair community. The swirl? Yeah. Essentials. What's your order? Tell them your order. I'll be right back. Um, grande ice uh, brown sugar oat milk latte with a single shot of espresso and a pump of honey. Good. Uh, what do you want to watch? Um, oh, first, guys, this is my friend Ari. She's probably the only one, which I'm shocked right now that she's actually doing this. She's the only one that's not. Why are you looking so surprised? You don't no, know what I'm saying. You're gonna say. She's the only one that's not Team Knotless. She is um, ride or die with the knots. I like to stick to the classics. She likes to stick with the classics. But today she is trying and branching out and she's trying to do. So they can stop hating on me. And so I can make it to the Instagram feed. See? She thinks that's why she doesn't make it to the She said that's why she doesn't make it to the Instagram feed, which is crazy. Anyway, let's get started. Yeah. You finished it? Yeah. Okay, I didn't finish it. Um I thought that was a high school show. No, like it's crazy. It started off it's as a high school. It's dramatic for me now. Like, <laughs> no, like seriously, someone. I'm just like, this happens to be a high school show. What? Where is all this killing and all this stuff coming from? I just don't want Me and my roommate, kind of started Love is Blind. These people are so irritating. Season three? Yes. I'm like, this is, I wasn't going to watch it before, but she was like, oh, she wants to watch it. I was like, okay. No, they actually, they need to end the whole series because. Cash just keeps getting worse. No, like this one, they're actually like awful. <laughs> like, there was one guy who, um, one of the couples that, do you know who got married? Okay. So you I'm see not there yet. I'm still like, a, they live together. Yeah. So like one of the couples that ended up getting married, they want to go do some digging and apparently. See, this is what I'm talking like. This You're in high school. school. You're 17. First of all, even if he was an adult, why is he rolling like that? Like it's when he jumped over that little fence before, <laughs> I was like, be for real. So Aries all done guys, show them. You should have told me that before I was stretching my legs all weird. They didn't see the bottom half <laughs> Okay. Okay, so Pretty tell good. them what you did. We did a uh, middle part bust down. No, there I'm just kidding. Um, 1B, knotless, size medium, Yes. lower turn back around. length. Turn around and show them. Stiff wear. Go ahead, stiff wear. There you go, there you go. That's her mic of the camera. Becoming a knotless girly, slowly but sure. Little by little. She still yeah. likes her knots. For the holidays. Let's switch it up. I feel like she'll be back with her knots. Yeah. I know um, you will. End of January, we'll be back. She'll be back with her knots. But with a different color. That and we got, we got straight this time. I normally do curls. You do curl your ends. But I just lot. wanted to do something nice and switch clean it up. and sleek. We like it. For the it. holidays. Yes. Get into the party, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Oh, I'm almost done. There you go. Nice. Kind of sort of got it. And like, wait. There you go. Put it up. Yes. She's doing like and a full got, promo video. No, no. I gotta she get my content on the channel with this I one know. chance. And you know, we got the oil in the scalp. Meet a hair Everything. oil. Go shop meetahair.com. Everything. We love it. <laughs> so just show your hair. And okay. Move around. Okay. Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a live, laugh, love. No. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. And I love the, the oil that you put. Is that, is that your hair oil? Yeah. Oh, it's it. tingly. It is tingly. Yeah. There we go. She did the 28 inches soft locks. Color 1B. Classic. We love it. <laughs> you like the Pop to me the hair. <laughs> Period. She'll get you right. 
And now, that's it, guys. We're done for today. <laughs> it's not even technically the day that this is. It is 2 17 a.m. because I like my naps, as we know. So, why is this battery not charged? Oh, it's, it's probably fully charged. That's probably why. Anyway, um, I like my naps, as we know. So, after I got done with my friend's hair, I was like, I can't keep my eyes open. So, I went to go take a quick little nap. I keep forgetting that I have a shoot tomorrow, well, today-ish. I keep forgetting that I have a shoot, which I told you guys, and what was it, like two or three vlogs ago, that my pretty little thing order wasn't gonna come. My pretty little thing order is not here on time. Honestly, I'm not the most prepared for this shoot. Part of me wants to move it, part of me is also like, I don't have any time or days to move it to. What am I doing? These are the tips, don't judge it. These are the tips that I'm using, they're called, this is what they're called. I got some from my Amazon and I'm just gonna quickly sip them really quick. Um, usually I would just do my regular nails. I think I mentioned early on that my nails, they all decided to do it. They were just like, we want a break. I've gotten really comfortable wearing just my natural nails and just paint them really nicely. But I don't know, should I just paint them regularly? My fingers look like little sausages. <laughs> That's the thing. They always look like little sausages with no um thing on it. And I just want a little length. A little length. That's all I need. Like ideally I don't want to do tips because I feel like I'm gonna have to take them off in a few days because I can't even if the tips are as short as well, my natural nails usually are when they're long, it's still this weird mind connection that I'm just like I can't break properly with tips. So it's been a minute so I've done tips. And I don't know. Do you guys know when your nails just feel like sore? That's how I'm feeling right now. And I'm just like I didn't even I didn't even touch you. Yeah, which I want to do the gel X thing, but I haven't got the lamp yet. I haven't got the lamp where you can like, cure, no, not a nine. Well, that was a six. Um, I haven't got the lamp yet where you can like cure it properly and stuff. So where's my cuticle nipper? Yeah, um, I haven't got the cuticle nipper. No, that's not what I was talking about. I haven't gotten the... My memory is so funny sometimes because I genuinely do not remember what we were talking about. That's so ridiculous. And I'll talk to one of my friends because, what's it called? Sometimes I remember like the most random thing. Whenever I'm watching shows, I'll be like, that character was in Grey's Anatomy. This is what happened in this episode. And they wore this and yada yada yada. Ask me what happened yesterday and I won't be able to tell you. All these cars. Isn't it past your bedtime? It's like 2.22. It's just like, I remember the most ridiculous things that I probably... Maybe should not spend my, most of my memory capacity on remembering. And then the things that I should remember, I'm like, oh, yeah, I had no idea we had that conversation. It's so bad. Yeah, but I'm just like, hey, you live and you learn, right? No, what am I living and learning? I was talking about my memory. This is what I'm talking about right now. Uh, I'm still just putting my nails. This is a size five. I do need to move quickly, though, because I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> I like my naps. So I'm all done filing after breathing in so much dust, which I need a mask by the way, so I don't keep breathing in dust. But I'm just going with almond shapes. It's so crazy to me that like short nails are my go-to now because there was a time when, where are these tips? Let me show you. Honestly, as long as, oops. <laughs> as long as this tip is, uh, can you see that? Yeah. I probably, which is like, look at that. I probably would have just snipped off the number and I would have kept this. Like, I used to wear claw, like claws. And now I'm just in my like, I need short nails. I need functional. The long tips, they were cute for a second, but I'm like, I, I need my hands. I need my hands. Who's up? Somebody's up. Okay, so I'm all done buffing and everything. And now I'm gonna start painting. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go with black. Blacks are just classic. I think I'm gonna do um, 
just mainly blacks on these three nails and then on these two nails those are like my accent nails so i'm gonna add a little razzle dazzle on those nails so yeah I'm gonna go wash out the little the little like messy pieces that I got on my hands but I'm all done I'm proud of the end result I'm gonna show my left hand because I'm a righty and my right hand always looks a little a little janky but this is what they look like yeah this is what they look like they're nice and simple like black is just such like if you haven't tried black nails out like literally black nails are just so like and i feel like they used to be so like gothic and all just like dark but like when you add a little nude to it a little razzle dazzle a little spice you can't tell me that this is not like a classic look this one is like real like my right hand we don't talk about her but the left hand always looks good so this is my main like oh can i see your nails this is the hand that i show people so I'm sure let me out of it. Let's say it over there. Okay. It's another beautiful Sunday. Can you actually turn around and show the people? It's another beautiful Sunday, which means O O T D with a brother. She'll show them your outfit. Tell them what you got on. Wait, step back. Let me get the full fit. Step back. This is H and M. Mm-hmm. This was a gift. Look at that. H and M. This was a gift. Yep. I think these these might be Zara or something. Mm -hmm. and then this is a hundred dollar fit y'all you do not have to pay six hundred dollars preach your message to get fly no cap and then the dog tag have a good day dog tag gift so i'm finally back home and a little greasy but yeah i'm finally back home and i think i'm actually going to combine yesterday's vlog and today's vlog because not a lot happened today and i honestly didn't record because one i was supposed to have to photo shoot with josh but honestly we both weren't prepared i don't know if that i mentioned that already but we both weren't prepared like i feel like it would have been a very rush shoot and honestly we postponed that till i think either wednesday or friday possibly so yeah, so we moved the shoot that was supposed to happen and then I was going to go to the mall to go get the second dress that I need. Some of the stuff that I need for the shoot is not even here. We honestly didn't even go over like aesthetics, like mood, like what are we, what are we going for? Yeah, we just weren't prepared this time. So we were like, yeah, let's just postpone it. I was like, don't kill me. But like, and he's always Kemi, you're fine. I was like, of course. So yeah, so we postponed the shoot and then I wanted to stop by, I think... I think the mall was my main thing and then I think I wanted to go check out the new Shake Shack that just opened up by like Menlo Mall and stuff. But, um, it's raining. So, I was like, no. It was like pouring down rain, so I'm like, yeah, I'm going home. So I didn't go and now it's like a hot chocolate watching Netflix in bed type of night. So that's what I'm about to go do. So yeah, there's not much that happened today. Um, my dad is back. But yeah, not much happened today. It was a really, really great day though, although nothing like nothing really fun and exciting to film like for the vlog happened but like it was it was a great day i feel like like today's service was definitely just like it was meant for me and like yeah today's service was definitely just meant for me and i feel like i honestly walked and said i'm like god like talk to me i was like i want to know i want to hear you i want to know really great and I'm just excited, honestly. I'm excited for what is to come, what the future holds. Just, yeah, you know, I'm kind of giggly, but I'm just like. And then I went to um the cosmetology thing, which I don't record in there because I don't want to be like weird, even though they're like super, super. I feel like it'll be cool me recording, but I'm just like I, I don't know. Put in the camera in people's face that you're not that close to sometimes a little like iffy, but yeah, they're really cool. I stayed there longer today because we had like a long discussion and we were just chatting about life, the business, and everything. So we had a really really great conversation, and I learned a lot today. So that went really really well. So I think between the great service and then 
the chat with the cosmetology people that so i'm really excited it's like 5 p.m right now i'm gonna go make some hot chocolate get into bed and then edit some day of vlogmas that's supposed to go up today it's probably gonna be a late upload like 10 p.m but it's gonna go up today that's my whole point but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching yesterday and vlogmas day one of these days i'll get it right i think it's vlogmas day seven eight yeah i thank you for watching vlogmas day seven and eight and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning so i know i said i was done <laughs> with today's vlog but i'm actually doing some business stuff and i thought i'll share it so with me having my whole with me going to have my whole suite and stuff i have to now calculate my cost i like to write things down i know people like spreadsheets and stuff i like to write things down and then i'll go to a spreadsheet so i might share maybe when i create the spreadsheet and all that so right now i'm going literally style by style to figure out cost of the style is the cost of the hair and then by the time i take out like service fees and stuff because i use stripe and paypal and they um stripe and paypal they take your money so with every transaction that they do they take 2.9 percent plus like 30 cents which sounds like a little bit of money but over time it really does add up <laughs> i know on every single like booking day i look at what i technically made and what i get to keep it i'm like okay thank you for your help but at the same time i want my money so that's just one of the things that kind of sucks and then trying to i just like things easy so although it does suck that i i lose money having people like book it and then sell me or cash up and then i have to verify it's a lot of work and i don't have time for that but anyway yeah so right now i'm just kind of going style by style some styles i'm actually going to remove coming the new year because i just don't want to do them anymore <laughs> i just don't want to do them anymore um some new styles I will now offer because of course I have a proper space to wash hair and all that so there will be new styles that I offer and other styles that like I would push more that I did before but like I fine-tuned and then some with my stitch braids and stuff I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of a break to perfect my skills and then hopefully by like summer 23 which is when I feel like a lot of people do like stitch braids where like I'm talking a lot there's a lot of spit in my mouth right now my whole point being I'm gonna take a little break from stitch braids those are gonna go off and then um the small feet and braids will probably not come back my whole timetable is so for instance the it's a hefty price tag i don't want people check me we're gonna do another style <laughs> my whole thing is i have to calculate how much my expenses are for life so that's like my car insurance subscriptions like hulu apple storage canva that i use to deck to not decorate but um to create things teachable and all that so i calculated all my expenses i'm gonna make this a spreadsheet because i feel like you guys you should see this um i probably lying i'll try <laughs> i'll try my best i'm gonna go over every single expense that i have every single month and then also i'm gonna factor in things like snacks little drinks things that i want people to have because i think i want to do the whole like mimosa thing because i feel like that's just so cute so i have to factor in like a bottle of champagne and all that stuff so maybe that might just, that might be a once a week type of thing not every single day in my saturday appointments yeah but my whole point is i'm gonna go over all my expenses and then i'm gonna go over now at the cost of rent which is a chunk when i figure out how much my expenses cost i would then calculate what i need to start charging so i can one pay rent comfortably and two still make a profit and like increasing your price is always so like nerve-wracking and stuff but i just feel like this one is like they will understand not that i didn't understand the previous ones but i feel like this one is more like justified because i'm literally moving into a proper space where they're gonna even see like okay i understand why i'm paying this type of cost but it's so nerve-wracking when you're just like and i'm like should i announce it or should they just should they just see it and it's just kind of like they kind of just know and i don't know because i don't know it's just always awkward when you're increasing your price and i'm just like if i want to make a profit i gotta make a profit and that's just what i gotta do so yeah <laughs> so like for my boho braids i figured out the cost i figured out um how much stripe or paypal will take the cost of the hair the braiding hair the human hair and then also kind of just think about products wise as well because that is a monthly expense as well too and then go from there yeah this is the not so fun part about being a business owner the logistics stuff because i'm like tell me i gotta do math i left school for a reason <laughs> Yeah, that's just all I wanted to like chat and show you guys about because I thought like this is like an important part of being a business owner and whatnot. So catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.